look at how bad this is. Somebody's been here real bad a long time ago. Yeah. This thing's oh, all sorry. beat to shit right here. You notch this out, you hold and bring it in three quarter inch. Put the thing back on, slide it, put it in. Once we get the door fit, then you get this fucking thing out of here, because that way you can play behind it, you know? And once you get that done, and this set up, then we figure out how to tack the brackets, because you see the brackets on the inside from a play where they're all bent. Mm -hmm. So we make our brackets. Wow, you guys, YouTubers, shout out. Big, big, big shout outs. I see the numbers going up. We got the subscribers close to a thousand. We can't wait till we reach that mark. Tell your mammy about us. Tell your uncle about us. Tell your brother about us. Let us know we don't dog. We back here at Alabama Road Tide. We showing you some good work. You know, we kind of held off. We were waiting on latches and other parts. Uh, initially, we had found rust in the door jam. One, the door latch on this side was completely gone. And if you know this car, they don't sell any latches new for it. Look, look how thin the metal is. You see how thin? And look, the thickness of the metal is, is double. See the difference between this and these two holes. So, I mean, it's gonna look ugly without dipping it and making flash like this. You know, I mean, the screw is gonna be like popping up. You see, uh -huh, you see, uh -huh. right there. It's called the dipper, mm -hmm. All about the details. Hold on, just to look at this. I'm a fan of the, you know, custom look of the Kendigit design latches, which is kind of like a Tesla latch. It's flush, but it's actually functional where you can open it up where you don't need a pop mechanism where it won't wear out on you. So it fixed the rust area because now we cut out all of the rust and put new metal. We put in a brand new latch that became better functionality with the design of the Kendigit door handles mechanism. We needed a better latch to work the functionality of the door handles, but the fact that we got a better latch, it's brand new, is off the shelf. We can order another one if anything goes wrong. They still make them to the day, a brand new latch, a brand new striker. Both of the areas was corroded with rust, so all of the you know triple-plated, double-sided metal uh, that was put in, sometimes, some areas it was three pieces of metal, sometimes it was two, so it was a triple or a double piece, but he made all of the metal new. Look at this, you see? You see all this bullshit here? I'm huh? gonna take it out. Make a new plate, thick, heavy, strong. We're gonna have the, the adjustability, you know. You wanna adjust it a little bit to the front, a little bit, you know, to the back. Because the door has to be in the same position, which is lining up with the door, with the water panel. I mean, you know, I mean, this should be working perfect. That's it. You see the cage? Where the, you know, this one. I put the cage inside. And like this, we have clearance. You see how it can go up and down, you know. So that's the reinforcement. Now, this one is just to, it's gonna be right here. You see, it's gonna be right here. You see, the reinforcement is already there. The cage is already there. I will so good. Plus, we're gonna put this right here and I'm gonna attach it. So everything is gonna be very, very solid, you know. Because remember, these cars, they have like heavy doors, you know, heavy, heavyweight doors. That's why we had to make everything thicker. Better than a manufacturing tool, because you see how you can adjust everything easier, you know. Now, I'm gonna just hold this right there, just weld it and that's it. Now we're at the point of it's finished. We got the door lined up where we wanted it. You know, we're a person that believe in um, doing all of the metal work and everything on the body to where you have a true fitment of curb weight besides tearing it all apart, putting it on the rotisserie, then doing the stuff. 
once we get everything metal work where we wanted it, everything is kind of like to our expectations. At that point, we'll build a cage, put it on the rotisserie, and really go to town because the underside of the body, you still have to finish well, just like they had to grind down the wells on the top. You can't get to those right now on the bottom. So it's some touch up things you have to do on the bottom side as well. But back to what I was saying about the door handles. Now that we got the handles in, everything's functional. You see here, once you get it open, um, your door handle is open. Now you see the jam. You see the, the new metal that was put in. Uh, you see the new latch that's functional. Uh, we actually use everything to get it flush mounted just how it was from the factory. But it also gives us the, you know, the, another area where the striker is actually located at. Um, you'll see where it was new metal put in. It's actually metal that was built behind it. You still have the open look where you could use whatever factory piece that goes there. If you want to do the common Sandman designs, a lot of people know him on Instagram. He has a nice company that makes CNC machine pieces for this car. So everything will fit. If you go back with the factory piece, it'll still fit. But now you have a new striker. Everything's brand new. Everything's functional. It open and closes, and then you really want you really want that solid, you know. And that's this is without any rubber moldings, you know. Once you put the weather stripping in there, it's actually going to be even better than that. But you know, that's what you're going. Red did an amazing job. So once you body work, it's even going to look better than that. Just keep in mind, this is just etching primer on the car. Uh, it's, it's no body work whatsoever have been done to any of these pieces. So it's going to look that much better once he actually put the manicure, pedicure treatment on it. You know what I'm saying? Making it look good. But the functionality of it is great. We ran into a couple of issues. This was, this was probably one of the more difficult designs to actually incorporate the handles. I, I do know why a lot of people don't do it because of the functionality of the original latch doesn't align well with how the, the mechanism of the handle works. But you know, our creative minds here at VTSV got the job done. It's functional, it's working great. We got everything lined up. We still got all of the, you know, all of the uh, body lines where we want them at, you know, and it's, it's opening, opening, closing, you know, seamless. So, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect, very perfect, you know, very perfect. Everything is flush, grind it down. And then once again, he put a little minor skim coat Bondo and setting it down, it, it, it'll be amazing. So it's a lot of time and hours into it, you know, for that. But now the fit, fit and the functionality of it is great. So I think it was, you know, well deserved for the automobile. So Alabama, we're doing you proud. Don't think we forgot. We was held up waiting on these parts. It was some back order on these latches, but we did find them. We got them in and we're rocking and rolling. So y'all stay tuned, man. Good work coming. VTSB Auto.